Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. It's been a few days since I've recorded, but uh, let's have a look here at the star map, and you can see what kind of predicament we're in. Comstar is really doing a number on Jade Falcon in the Inner Sphere. Um, I'm kind of afraid that they're going to be, like, wiping us out. Um, we were up over here, I believe, at Kobe, but we jumped back uh, more towards the front line here. We're, I think we're at, we're at Tamar right now. Um, let's just pan over here. Um, so we're going to try and weaken this planet a little bit. Uh, I mean, we're not going to be able to do much, obviously, but not within a couple of episodes, or in, within one episode, that is, with a few missions. But we're going to take some missions against Comstar here. There's not much we can really do, unfortunately, with only doing a couple missions here or there. So, uh, But we do have some good uh, contracts here, so let's just have a quick look at those. So I think what we'll do is we'll take turn the tables first. Um, so destroy base mission, five five uh, skulls, so I think this will be good. And we might be able to do War Criminal right afterwards. Um, and then we'll probably take one of these two and jump off planet. Uh, we'll, we'll see how fast we can do these. Uh, so let's go with turn the tables first. And obviously full salvage. We are hurting in sea bills though, so we're going to have to be careful of what we do here. Uh, we won't have enough for repairs if we're not careful. So let's bring in our main lance. Alrighty, Dire Wolf, Timberwolf P, D, and C, and we want to go Griff. Oh yeah, by the way, Mockingbird's got 10 on all stats now. Um, yeah, so she's the first pilot to do that. That's awesome. And then Six Pack and a Rhino, and I think we're ready for this. This is the uh, AC20 version, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, let's do this. Sorry guys, I'm just texting with my wife here. One sec. <laughs> um, Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, move to the facility and start wrecking the building. So we can do that. We're good at wrecking shiz. We're not going to wrecking, wreck it. We're going to destroy it. But um, Attack it and destroy it. Alright, Mockingbird. Now you've maxed out your... Uh, Skills here don't die on me. Waiting for orders. I want to apologize too. I still haven't gotten everybody's comments yet. Um, I've been kind of reading them piecemeal, but I don't want to just put a like and a heart on them until I've been able to at least respond to some of them. So I will be doing that. Uh, just apologize, I haven't done it yet. Moving out. All right, looks like we got. Uh, what do we got here? A Zeus, LRM carrier Mark II, Ontos. Catapult, heavy laser, heavy sniper, heavy sniper, and something. Well, let's see if we can't deal a death blow to this catapult. Um, two LRM 15s, two AC 2s, eh? Alright. It's actually not a bad loadout. Let's hammer it. I like them apples. Ah, uh, you need to sprint, unfortunately. Let's get you up in here. Take care of this problem for me, will ya? We don't need to warlord it in this one. Firing. Want to save the warlord for the turret. Oh, you know what this turret is now? What is it? Camouflaged LRM turret. Well, let's get out of the... LRM turrets direct line of sight. On my way. Double time. And let's hammer this guy. Engage. Bang, you're dead. Target eliminated. Alright, Griff. Ooh. That's interesting. The only problem about this is it puts you out of the battle, right? Unless we do turret cleanup from back here. Let's just get in the line of sight of one. And we're going to hammer this turret. Um, don't think this turret's worthy of a warlord right now, but let's just do some damage on it. Commander. 
heading out. Lock it up. A heavy laser turret. We don't know what armor this thing's got. I want to hammer it hard. I want it gone. Firing. Standing by. Let's get the bird up here. It's again turret. Ah, uh, we don't need a warlord in this one. Just fire it all. God, we're running so cool in this mech. No reason not to fire everything if we're not getting any heat. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you can see that turret. Let's not target them both, though. Let's just get to one. We got a good line on these guys. We could show what we do from here. What can we hit them with? You are in the rack. Uh, yeah, let's go. There it is, folks. One last turret. You got that right. All right, Griff, let's work on that second turret, please. Nice crystal clear line of sight. Sniper turret, pair of AC2, a lot of AC2s and some PPCs. Now, if we warlord this, we won't have enough, but we're just going to fire. He'll be gone next turn. Either they can't see us, or they're afraid to engage. Either way, we're going to take advantage of this. This is the Ontos Mark 6, right? Let's get into here. Uh, yeah, this is worthy of a warlord. Now, the question is, do I want to do a precision? Probably. See if we can do a precision on this guy. I'll bust through the side armor here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Shredded! You got that right. Apply an Ultra 20 to this turret. Uh, we don't have our Warlord, unfortunately, but if we hit with everything, we can take it out. No, we can't. Yeah. Commander. Oh, but you can finish it up. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Systematically stripping the defenses. Let's drop this to three. I don't want to jam just yet. The LRM carrier is a worthy jam, though. Yeah, I don't think you need to move. Let's just kill this guy. Alright, LRM, LRM carrier should die with an Ultra 20. And it's just the Zeus. I don't think you can actually get into combat yet, can you? Uh, but we don't want to move. Let's get into here. Question is, can the Zeus see us? I don't know is the answer, so... We're going to take this opportunity to capitalize. Um, it's got reduced internal structure on the head. If we get two head hits, he's dead. Or we could just attempt to blow the leg off, which we would need a lot of hits. Well, we could probably get the well, we can get the hits. Look what we're talking about here. There it is. Critical hit, Commander. You got that right. All right, Griff, can you see him? Can we sprint you into a place that you can see that guy? Probably. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's building. That's a building. That's no good. Griff, dude, you can't see that guy? You're hanging us out to dry here. 
All right, let's start in the buildings. Uh, 150, eh? Sure, fire everything. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Structure damage destroyed. You got that right. The Zeus is up. I was really hoping to get through this with no damage. Come on, face me. There you go. There you go. Receiving you. Not see the Zeus? We cannot. Position confirmed. Just work on the buildings. That one. You certainly did. Uh, I don't want you to steal Mockingbird's kill. That would just not be very nice. I'm coming in hot. It's all yours, girl. That's still from this side, eh? Well, we gotta move first. Copy that. Come on, it's OP this leg. 76%. There we go. Ooh, not quite enough. Oh, Griff can see him, though. Ah. There we go. I was questioning whether or not to Warlord it. I didn't want to over overdo it and blow the whole side off him. That's it. Alright, so that was pretty good. 217,000. We'll take a little bit in that repairs. Probably around 50,000 or so. Ah, Zeus X. Well, hello Zeus X. There we go, guys. Zeus X. Uh, anything good down here? We got lots of case, right? Yeah, we're okay for case. 400 XL. Oh, triple XL engine. There's some C bills, which we need. Put that in there for now. Uh, patchwork. Yeah, let's take that. We'll take it for the C bills. Let's do it. That's good. All right, we got all of the Zeus X parts. That's pretty cool. We have a Zeus X now. Internal combustion. We've got a few things we can sell. All right. There it is, folks. Zeus X. Let's check it out. Ah, it's only 19,000 in repairs. That's pretty good, actually. Thought it was going to be way worse. Alright, let's have a look here. We better go in and sell some stuff, too, so we can make our financial report. Zeus X, what does it got? Let's refit this guy. It's got nothing, it looks like. Cockpit prototype. Interesting. Uh... Yeah, so we don't get much off this thing. Medium X pulse, a couple of X pulses which we can sell. Some case two. Composite armor can come off. So Zeus X. Plus one accuracy with ranged weapons, minus one recoil. Um, and we got two ballistic in one arm and missile in the other. Uh, what else here? Prototype, plus one initiative, minus 10% reduced damage taken. That's cool. Let's put a uh, sh combat shield on this guy, too. Targeting computer. Sensor range for the lance. Sight range for the lance. Didn't help out with them, did it? Plus one initiative for lance mates. That's, a that's actually not a bad cockpit overall. Might just leave it just as it is. I don't think we need to add anything in this guy. Um, except for a Nova CEWS stealth system. But yeah, that looks pretty darn good. Uh, let's max out the armor. 254,000, which we don't quite have enough for, but we will have in a second here. All right, we're going to fix this guy up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the Stormcrow Prime. We can't have too many mechs in here. So let's pull up the Stormcrow because we're going to be like 
getting killed here. This was really just a backup mech anyway. So let's pull out that. And then let's go sell some stuff at the store here. We got tons of junk we can just sell. I'm still glad we're not totally hated by Comstar right now because otherwise we wouldn't be able to sell anything. So I've been holding on to pretty much all of the clan mechs and selling everything everything else off. I still have the Iron Curtain Centurion, uh, the Gorilla Catapult, a couple of other mechs, but not a lot. Um, regular AMS we can sell. Let's probably just use the clan ones instead. BFG 9000, we still have this thing. <coughs> All right. Um, regular ER medium can go. A regular ER PPC can go. A uh, regular Gauss rifle. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been trying to just keep clan equipment. With the exception of things like racks and Ultra 20s, where I don't really have backups, I've just been kind of selling off all the Inner Sphere stuff. Now, I haven't obviously sold stuff in a while here, but normally I do it between episodes. I didn't really think I would need to, but uh, both of those. Medium pulse laser, medium X pulse. I thought we had two of those. Maybe it was just a pulse. Maybe I mistakenly saw one. Heavy machine gun can go. Machine gun array we're never going to use. MML 7s. MRMs. Yeah, as much as I'd like to use these things, it's really just like I'm using them on my inner sphere ones, my inner sphere series. So the next series, like so like I said, we're gonna hang on to the rotary five because I don't really have any clan replacements for those. Um, how are we doing? One point five million, almost enough here. Let's sell that, sell that, sell this, and then let's just go once we get through the SRMs here. That's pretty good. Tags we'll hold on to because we don't really have any others. Thunderbolts just going to hang on. Well, let's sell this one. Uh, let's go down to... Uh, here we are here anyway. All right, where is... Um, we got a combat shield, so we're definitely going to add that into the Zeus. We picked that up one of the last in the last missions, I think. Regular Endo Steel can go... Hey, didn't I click two? Tons of cores. This can go, and then where's that? Uh, don't need these guys. Uh, why would you want to confirm that? All right, we got almost enough here to start adding stuff in. Um, yeah. See if we can fit the BFG 9000 in the air. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit. I think it's only torso mountable. It, I think it uses up all the slots in the torso. Um, yeah, good enough. We're not going to do it anymore. we got a weapon mount too. So uh, let's go back to the mech base here real quick. And let's fix this up. Um... All oh, right, we didn't have the medium X pulses because we never uh, stripped this. That's right. Barrel, max armor, strip the equipment. Like, and if we do, like, if we go to a ballistic here real quick, and where's our BFG 9000? We haven't had a chance to load that in yet. Or even one of the sniper, like the thumper artillery, we haven't had a chance to load in. But, it, I mean, that we could fit the thumper in the arm. The sniper is too big for the arm. It's got to go in the torso here, but we don't have any hard points for the torso anyway. Uh, and the BFG 9000, I think, I don't think we can actually use, I don't think we can use this on anything. I think this is only for that uh, one mech. I guess not. Damage 200. I guess we should just sell it then. The sniper artillery would, would have been nice, but Thumper, I don't know, maybe. Maybe we turn the Zeus into an artillery mech. Because we got Thumper rounds. Pretty sure we do. Yeah, we got Thumper, Shumper Shape. We got, two, we got what? This is five rounds each, right? Eight shots each. So there's 16 rounds right there. 
So we could go that route. I mean, this is only ways. How much is this way? 15 tons. Not that bad. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just confirm the repair on this. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. You do that. Get that in the schedule. So we got 3 million. We can get an X triple our Clan XL engine in that thing. War criminal. Yeah. Let's go ahead. See if we can get some salvage, some half decent salvage out of this. Okay, um, Black Knight, uh, Mjolnir, um, Catapult, and Exterminator. Let's make sure we get the right pilots in this time. Hannibal. Okay, Judge, we want to get into... Did we say we wanted to put her in the... Oh my god, I can't even remember now. Uh, Avalanche. No, Avalanche is going to go in the Exterminator, right? Gocho. Now... Right, because she had Phantom Mech. That was what I wanted to do, is to use that in the Exterminator rather than in the Catapult. Okay, that, now I've got them organized right. I still remember that last time where we swapped these two around and then we swapped the pilots. <laughs> and we had them in the same mechs, so... Anyway, here we go. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. Oh, this map, yes. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. When am I when have I never been caught in a crossfire? It's because of my dumb assery, that's why. Yeah. On it. I think my goal in this one is just to kill the main guy. Well, yes, we're going to kill everybody, obviously, but Move let's go after that main guy first. Normally I push up into here and fight in this, this area, but yeah, I'm going to push off to the left here a bit. I might come up around this way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We got the range, right? What can I do for you? Uh -huh. Alright, what do we got here? Athena. That's kind of nice. Black Knight. Thunderbolt. Well, this is a three skull and I got some good shiz here. So there's a fourth mech here somewhere. I don't think I want to target the Black Knight right away. Let's take down one of his guards here first. And let's Warlord this. Apply some more damage to this guy. Welcome, welcome to. A f uh, I think nothing we can do. Dead fire on this guy. I think he's too far away. Welcome to a face full of lerms. Um, not going to warlord in this because we'll won't get the damage bonus for it. So we're just going to hammer. Yep. Yep. Uh, I don't want to go that close. Does it really matter? Got it. Um. Yeah. Roger. Badass. We are not applying as much damage as I was hoping for. Don't worry about that Athena just yet. Let's get into here. It's mini awesome, this guy. Now, where are you hurt here? I think we can leg him? Do I want to leg him? That's the question. We could take his head off. Yeah, if we're going to offensive push, let's just try for the headshot. Well, I'll take the torso hit. That's fine. It hurt more if he took his head off like I asked. They cannot see us. Let's 
take this opportunity to say hello to the Athena. Probably pull her leg off here if we can. Yeah, I don't know all these pulse lasers. What do you need? Oof. Just going to shoot him. Okay, I got a few leg hits. How did that taste? I don't think he liked that very much. Got some PPCs coming up. You might be able to strip that leg off him. Heh. <laughs> you probably smart to back the hell up. Eighty five left in the CT, eh? Hunchback, all right. Commander. Affirmative. Save the OP for this guy so we can do this and this. Okay, there's the leg. Have a seat. You look tired. Have a seat. I need you to issue some judgment on this guy. Ha ha ha! Ah! See ya! Yeah, at this range, I think that, I don't know, that catapult with the LRM-80 is actually not that bad at this range. With 80 chances for a critical hit, it's not bad at all. Ah, he's keeping his torso turned. Looks like a light lance coming up here. I hear ya. Can we get around the front of that guy? Can. This means we're going to be engaging. Uh -huh. Alright, we're engaged, we're committing, we're engaging here. Um. All right, looks like four hits total on that leg. Not bad. Can we give that uh, yep. hunchback a face full of ATMs, do you think? Not get too close to him. If he is the AC20 version, I don't want to be really near him. Um, yeah. I'm taking this shot. Seven S. I think this is the SRM version. Talendale's probably cringing. You don't know your. <laughs> you don't know your uh, designations. No, I don't. It's nice to have somebody though like that comments that does know all their designations because I, I I just don't. I just don't. Cause it's really interesting how they all come about too, right? Because definitely a need for the different versions, but I just don't remember any of them. I just see a hunchback and I'm assuming AC twenty. Yeah, see that's the SRM version. Not really that big of a threat, but he's got full armor, so let's apply some damage. I don't want to engage that Black Knight too early. The earlier we engage this guy, the more likely he is to, to be a fleeing hazard. Once this guy's, the Athena's pulled down, then we can flank left here and cut off this guy's escape route. Yes, Commander. Can you get in front? You most certainly can. Moving out. You most certainly can. Yeah! Athena parts! We need more female named mechs in this game. Or feminine named mechs, I guess. 
I don't know. I, I guess you can't. I don't know how you would determine the difference between a, you know, a uh, masculine or feminine named Mac. But Athena is definitely a feminine named Mac. Let's hammer this guy. Wow, that was really bad. Really bad. Okay, we need to sprint that side then. We got to get in so that we can at least engage him if he tries to run here. What do you need? I need you to sprint your ass in here and hammer this guy, please and thank you. Now, can we dead fire this guy? We can, with a really bad chance to hit. Uh, let's just go normal because we want to hit him as many times as we can. For a couple of points of damage each. Oh boy. We need to get in close and hammer him with the HE. Scarecrow. Alright. Uh, Alright. Good thing we're standing in the water. We're already starting to overheat here. We're only going to be doing one damage, eh? See if we can get some instability on him. Yeah, a little bit. Wow, it's a lot of AMS. It's a lot of AMS. I got a lot of AMS too, buddy. Never split fire when the enemy is at full strength. Being in the water is a bad position because they have a plus 20 bonus to sensor detection. How many did we get? Seven out of eight. Nice. Can you just get the hell up there? Uh, our war is not back yet, but it will be next turn, so we're just going to hammer this guy. Yes! That must have been a torso kill. Yep, left torso. Nicely done. Alright. Let's focus on these idiots now. Let's get out of the water. Um, want this hunchback, or we want the blackjack? Blackjack's got range. So I'm thinking that's the one we have to go for first. So let's warlord this up, because we can, and hammer him. Got it. I think the biggest drawback to this uh, Black Knight is the pulse lasers. We're engaging with our targets at such long ranges now that it's... Um, we have not used Phantom Mech yet, so let's go ahead and use it. And not get very close, apparently. Ah, good enough. Um, yeah, so it's it's really not... I don't know, the pulse lasers really aren't doing it for me at long ranges. Ooh, there goes an arm. A critical hit. You want to shoot at the lance leader, this is what happens to you. You're moving in. Judge is going to be writing a new track, Faceful Alarm. Faceful Alarm. Now yeah, you finally got a chance to shoot and you flubbed it. Faceful Alarm. You're going to get a Faceful Alarm. Yeah, you know, it would be it, it would be really interesting to be able to field two lances of mechs. Good to go. 
because then you can really specialize your guys. You can have the uh, ECM AMS guy that's just defending your group and load up everybody else with other stuff. And can we get the dead fire on this guy? I don't think so. He's too far. No, we can, but forget the chances to hit. Anyway, face full of lerm. He's still standing, but not for very long. We got some PPC. But we really need a long Tom. Alright, let's hammer him. Finish him up. Get him off the map board here. Oh, come on. Well, he's a stick. He's got a couple of medium pulses, though, so... Alright, what version of Centurion is that? That's what I want to know. Don't know. ML... AC-10 Cluster... Yeah, it's the SRM version. Scarecrow, that's a lot of lasers. 40 ton of javelin, a lot of lasers. Okay. Um, what do you need? Let's sprint it because we got our uh, thing still going. Right, we get two turns of uh, protection. Okay, who do we got a good shot on? 72, 66, eh? 82, 87. There we go, baby. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, man. Eat that. Nice. Got past the armor. Sure as hell did. Got past the arm. Yeah, uh, the ATM loadout's great if you're close. We need to do something about these two mediums. Maybe we change it out for an ER large. Just to get some pinpoint. Because at range, we're really weak, right? We're really weak at range. Um, let's get into here. Got good, some good stability. We're going to multi target it up. All right, this guy and this guy. Um, let's go with this to be two largest to A. Maybe we finish him up. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. He gets a CT shot, is what he gets. Punch him right in the gut. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Where can we do the most damage? Probably against the Javelin, most likely. He's got a lot of lasers, so let's just plaster this guy. Solid connection on that one. Sure as hell was. He's got three PPCs coming, too. Well, he's got to move first, though. He's got triple peeps coming. This really isn't a fair fair battle for them. I wish all those all of the uh, or the second lance was two mediums and two heavies. That would have been a good fight, I think. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Yeah, but he's moving in. He's going to be punching, I think. So if we can pull this javelin out of here with the peeps from the meal near, then uh, yeah, he's moving in. Oh, uh, you're getting the ATMs next turn anyway, so. Got some high explosive. Come on, Javi. Where are you going? It's probably going to move in. Yeah, a little bit.
Pulse lasers. Okay. All right. That side. That side. Let's get in. Uh, we get a side shot in this guy? We cannot. We could get a back shot in the Raven, though. That's a possibility. 80 damage per pop. Let's make that a little more. Let's see if we can remove the Raven from the battle. Well, we can do a lot of damage to the Raven. You got that right. Have a seat. He's a little tuckered out. All that running around. Yeah, I thought about shooting the javelin, but I, I wasn't going to get the side, most likely, so I thought maybe the raven would be a better target, and it was. I was hoping for a CT hit, but can't have everything. Uh, let's see what we can do to the side of this hunchback. Moving to position. Ooh, that's killer. That's a killer. Um, I'm just gonna fire. See ya. Good to go. All right, uh, we got lots of weapons here. Let's just show this javelin. What it's like to have big guns. This should be good. Ouch. And stay down. Oh yeah, he ain't getting up. Um. Heading out. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you get all watch. At least you get to watch all the missiles coming down on him. Mechs on fire! Commander. Oh, I see a back shot. Let's stay stable and fire at his back first. Oof. Tried to run. That's what happens when you run, buddy. That's what happens when you try and run. You can back the hell up, just don't run. Yeah. Time for an avalanche of missiles. Putting one in the back. Ah, you're putting 27 in the back, that's what you're doing. Gotcha. Sure as hell did. Alright, Hannibal the Cannibal, finish this guy up. Out. Here it comes. Oh, you make me sad. You make me sad. Sorry, we never got a chance to use the dead fire, so let's use it now. There we go. I hope we can salvage that. I don't. Hooray! Alright, contract payment increased by 35%. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. No injuries. Probably took about 30,000 damage. Oh my god! We almost got an Athena. We could go with Black Knight, but we've already got a Black Knight. So let's, get, let's go for the Athena. I don't know if... I shouldn't look down here because I'm going to be like, Ah, oh, I wish we could take this. And I'll be disappointed. Nope. Uh, not really. Energy fire control. I think we really have everything. Well, a prototype double heatsink kit. We don't have a lot of prototype double heatsink, so it's not a big deal. Recon sensors. Alright, that's fine. And we didn't get the Athena. <laughs> and we didn't even get any Black Knight parts. What do you know? Ah, well. Alright, we got junk. Nice. Oh, a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but we'll take it. 
We'll take it. We almost got an Athena. That would have been nice if we had picked up two mechs today, but the Zeus is... Ah, it's good enough. We'll take that. Um, so let's take... Let's get the Zeus uh, back by taking one of these missions. So this one is eight days away. So let's just go there. Of course, full salvage, man. You kidding me? Um, let's accept. Force now, and head out. So before today ends... Uh, what I want to do is I want to work on that Zeus just a tiny bit. Um, so we'll have, it'll be back by the time we get there, I think. Will it be? Eight days to get there? Wasn't the Zeus back in eight, or was it six? Uh, not yet. Is that Zeus not back? Come on, where's the Zeus? Two days. Let's wait the two days. Uh, no, let's not wait two days. Let's just take the contract. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I don't even know what it was, but we're taking it. Let's get the mainlands in here. Five skulls. Okay, Griff, where are you? Here we go. Mockingbird, don't die. Uh, six pack, Rhino. Let's deploy and get this sucker done. Battle in the jungle. Alright, we gotta hit this patrol. There's gonna be reinforcements coming. As a distraction so a Jade Falcon can take on a base. So, uh, the enemy's gonna be coming, reinforcements coming from this side. I'm wondering what kind of range this enemy lance is gonna be. I mean, we can try and make our way up this way take the hill and fire down on them. Or we can come back this way. Because we'll have range. We're going to have range. I don't know how long that till reinforcements arrive. Well, that's the issue, right? So let's just move forward slightly. We can get some people on sensors next turn. I'll be able to determine which way we should go here. If it's two lances up front, I'm good with that. Uh, you need to get in close, so that's going to be an issue. Confirmed. Wonder if we should switch out those medium improved heavy lasers. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Looks like enemy they have basically made my decision for me. We know what we're doing. On my way. Okay, we got a Volkira, a Raptor. Uh, I say we say hello in a aggressive way. They need to be close to us. So let's not overdo it to start. Until I know what we're really up against, heavy mech wise. Because this is a five skull mission. Once we know heavy mech wise what we're up against, then we can unload. I just don't want to, not necessarily jam, but Fafnir, okay, King Crab, Battlemaster, and Sazi. I want to just take my time, strip these guys. Okay, there's that one gone. I need a new target. Yeah, you do. We need to make sure these guys don't get eyes on. Now, I don't know loadout-wise what we're dealing with here. Uh, I think, though, you need to engage at closer range this way, but I don't think I want you to sprint. I think you just want to move. Not necessarily splitting my forces here. I'm just positioning them so we have our long-range guys in a position to fire at almost all the enemies and we'll move up our close range guys. So it's two battle masters, eh? Oh, it's a black knight, sorry. I'd like to get some battle master parts. Akira, this guy's a melee mech. Um I really want to try for a headshot in this battle master.
And I think that's what we're going to do. You never know. Yeah, well. Dagger, okay. Standing by. I can't let them have eyes on me. Huh. Yeah, it's this guy. Let's get rid of this guy. He's getting too close for my liking. We got good chances to hit. Okay, tag's on. Spin those racks up, please. Warlord, confirm. Spinning the racks up all the way. Let's pull, try and pull this guy out of the battle. Thank you. You got that right. I heard him splash in the water there. Creep it in, please. Creep it in. Can we see that battle master still? Back this way. Let's just shoot in the Fafnir. What did that say? Improved what? Heavy Goss rifles. Fudge. We got to pull him down now. I keep forgetting the Fafnir's got the heavy Goss rifles. I don't know if you can see us right now, though. Racks jam, but we'll fire the rest. Bah. No luck. Commander? I'm there. Engaging target. Well, let's see if we can pull one of those arms off. I think they're in his arms. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably wrong. Weird thing is I want him to shoot for Griff, but at the same time I don't. We got, a, we got a BTF U. BTF U, everybody. BTF U. That's ah, a Rockmaster. I see that. How many did we get? Six? Okay, not bad. About 30%. 28? Point something percent? 28.7? Something like that? Not bad. I'm probably wrong. Screw you! Uh huh. Warning. Armor low. I know we need a GTFO, man. Get the fuck out! Ah, for Christ's sake! You better miss. Thank God. Can somebody pull his arm off, please? Waiting for orders. 
rolling. You're making me do it. Copy that, Commander. We penned six packs. Should be able to finish that up. Freaking Rackmaster. Why am I going so slow? We got that torso. Oh, <laughs> I had to get that last shot in there. Some heavy did we get the torso? I think we did. I can't tell. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Oh, that's headshot material if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Target eliminated. <laughs> oh, it's so worth it when that happens. It's so worth it. Let's vigilance the shit out of this uh, and sprint the hell out of here. I don't think we can. Oh, we can get over here, though. Um, let's get into here. Actually, can we move there? Uh, not quite, but that's not bad. Um, all right, well, let's shoot this guy. Let's attempt to shoot him. Yeah. Oh, that crab's in for a back shot. He's like, hey! Backshot me. I wonder if it's the standard loadout. Looks like it. Probably a couple of AC-20s and some medium lasers or something. Or medium pulses. Or large lasers or something. Nah, if it was large lasers he would have fired by now. It's scary doing that at back attack on the king crab because if I don't kill him, then I gotta face those those twenties. Somebody kill this fucking dagger for me. Ready for orders. If I don't kill the crab, he's gonna kill me. Uh, significantly worse. He's got a lot of friggin' armor. Ah, uh, we'd have to double hit the location. Let's just fire on him, make sure we hit. Or we can just kill him like that. That works. Jesus Christ, girl, you're a murderer. I'll marry you and Mockingbird, for Christ's sake. This Fafnir's gotta go. Uh, fire everything on him. I don't, I don't know where he's been, ha, his, has and hasn't been hit, so. I think we got the torso on the one side, but I, I can't be sure. And if I can't be sure, then we gotta just shoot on him. We're jammed from ECM. That's fine. There it is. Oh, Christ. Okay, at least one of the Gauss rifles hit. Got the rack coming up now too, so we still got lots of armor. 
correction. We had lots of armor. Rhino, can you silence the fuck out of that Rackmaster? I'm sure you can. Wind it up and let it go. Did you knock him down? Yep. Have a seat. Neutralizing the Fafnir. Bet she still hits me, though. Bet she still hits me. Oh, I got lucky. See, that's a mech you don't want to move in. You just want to fire from a distance in. You don't want to move as close as you can because then you get under fire from all the small range weapons too and everybody's going to be shooting at you. I can't believe I killed the king crab and the, <laughs> the black knight. Two turns. I don't know if I should push it with the crapple master though. Yeah, dagger's right where he's supposed to be. But now we can see him. He's dead meat. You may have an ECM, but it sure as hell ain't going to save you from a rack. You are smart to keep Griff blind, I will say that. Let's get out of ECM range if we can. We know what the real threat is right now. Let's kill this guy. Okay. Target down. That's torso death just waiting to happen. Yeah, our uh, rack is down. Let's fire on this guy. Save our warlord for next turn when the rack is back. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage. Commander. You know, the racks are like really, really powerful, but they're really balanced with the fact that they jam like that. It's a super balance, I gotta say. Um... Get to a range where we can really close with this guy. Hit him with everything. We miss with both? Jesus. Wow. I know it's hard to hit this guy, but still gonna take some shots at him. Ooh, two hits, nice. Uh, I should have. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I should have um, vigilanced Rhino. Maybe both the dagger and the other guy will split between six pack. Like if one of these guys goes on 22, then we can move Rhino. We still got a guy down in here. Well, at least you're spreading the damage around. That helps. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Ready for orders. Let's give this guy the finger. Target's taking a critical hit. Ah, shit. Hopefully it's this guy. Otherwise it's gonna be uh, Battle Masters moving. I wanna move Rhino. Okay, perfect. Wow. You, you... 
First thing that guy's got to learn is you never give Mockingbird your back, ever. Alright, Rhino, we need to get you out of there. So let's sprint it back. Don't want to stay close to this guy. Eh. Yeah. I'm showing minor damage. We got him mad though. Waiting for orders. I'm there. Green targeting somebody in the back means death. Well, maybe not this time, but next time for sure. Bet that hurt. Sure as frig did. Wish we had one jump jet to get around behind this guy. Ah, oh, we don't need one jump jet. Ah, right, we're gonna overheat. Full oh, we're not. What's up, buddy? Enemy mech. You have a seat, and you and I are gonna talk next turn. I got a serious discussion for you next turn. Order. Warlord's back. Acknowledged. And firing. Find it. Oh, two hundred and one hundred and thirty-two each. Why is it 132? He doesn't have acid on him. Commander? I don't know why it was 132. Um, we need to get rid of this friggin' ECM shit on us. Oh, he took his head off. Nice. Mech destroyed. Griff's like, don't touch him. He's mine. He's all mine. Um, I'm still t sent though. Uh, don't really want this mech, but... Oof. Crap. Yes, Commander. Can you split fire? Sure can. Let's do that. I copy. Eh. Oh, we got four on them. Wow, that was uh, not very impressive. I think he's trying to save his buddy here. It's not going to help him though. Really? Just pissing me off. Just pissing me off. Don't know if these trees will still be around next turn, but uh, hope so. Couple hundred points damage. A little bit unstable. Um, Be 
We got a tag on him? We did. And knocked his ass down. Have a seat, buddy. Alright. What's up, boss? As much as I want to give this guy the grip, this guy needs to go away now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's try and stay out of the fire. Now we need to move our left side, right? Left side, so we got to turn this way. Right? Am I getting this right, guys? You got to help me out here. I'm on fire. Direction of dyslexic, got to help me out, guys. Got to help me out. I think I got it right though. All right, 99, 99, 99, 99. I want the battle master though. We got a head hit, but we didn't kill him. What hit him? Only 30 damage though in the head. Guy's gonna die. Commander. On it. Yeah, I didn't think we'd get him. One of two. Down. How do you only have two health? Mission successful. Well, there it is. 399,000. So, let's see. I don't know. We're going to take a... We took a fair bit of damage on the uh, Dire Wolf here. 22 left in the... Two, in, oh, my God. I didn't realize we were that close. We didn't lose any components, surprisingly enough, though. Like, that's the thing I was bizarre. It's like I took so much damage on this side, but no components were down. I'm, I'm not arguing it, but that's, that's you know, nice. I wonder if that has something to do with how that spawn liner that we have. Or protective padding. It's only 15%, but I wonder if it makes a big difference. Okay, seven items. Black Knight parts, Locust parts. Come on, battle. Oh, we don't we'll get the battle. Oh, King Crab. Boing. All right, where's the Fafnir? We don't have any Fafnir parts. Where's the Battle Master part? One. I'm going to take the Battle Master part. I mean, I could take more King Crab parts, but I just want to see what's down here. Improved Heavy Goss Rifle. 20 tons. Are you shitting me? Twenty tons. Uh, we should probably take one of these as another backup weapon. My ability to lose arms and such is probably a good idea. Medium combat shield. Command console, which we're not really using right now. Pirate EMP. Or ECM, sorry. I don't know why I saw the E and I was thinking EMP for some reason. Don't need melee stuff. Um, NSS's, which didn't really help them out. Prototype double heatsink, yes please. Um, we could go with patchworks. We got two of those. We don't have any half ton patchworks, which would be nice. Because they fit in the legs so well. Uh, Warfare Sweet Void System. Heavy Goss ammo. We don't have any. Four shots, huh? We got lots of rack five ammo, don't we? We've only got one left. Uh... Is the improved heavy goss rifle worth it at this point? It's 130 damage for 20 tons. Range of 530 meters. 
So you have to be relatively close to use the damn thing. And for that tonnage, you could be running a pair of Ultra 10s. Or another or an ultra twenty. I oh, know you have to be closer for an ultra twenty. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's take it. Why not? How often do we see it? All right, let's grab what we got here. All right, and Sazzy part. Dagger part, big deal. We got only the one King Crab part, bunch of Raptor parts, Valkyra part, and um, oh, well, we got a quarter ton patchwork material, fire control system, melee, hooray, um, rack five ammo. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Stealth, uh, eh. all right, well, we did okay. All right, well, we weren't gonna get anything, I knew that. So there's the King Crab. Chameleon LPS. Two silver bullet Gauss rifles. Ultra rare handcrafted. Wow. Let's check that out. Uh, yeah, I guess started on the repairs. Damn, man. Let's check this crab out. We're going to need to set to start putting some mechs in storage now. Um, to figure out who's going to go. Uh, probably going to be the exterminator, but I mean, it's got a, it's got the uh, chameleon LPS as well, so maybe not. Let's have a look at this guy. R14 sheath beacon. Integral. Wow, it's got nothing. Double Gauss ammo, though. Score! His so armor's almost maxed out already. So we're just going to leave it like that. A million to fix, which we can do. So, R20 sheath. We got two ballistic points in each arm. Two missile points in each torso. And then lots of uh, energy hard points spread across the mech. This is actually a really good mech. For 100 tons. For inner sphere version, I mean, it's got a good loadout. Gives you lots of options. You could do a heavy laser build, or you could do heavy ballistic build, or you can even do a heavy missile slash laser build or something. Double Gauss ammo. Man, yeah. Let's uh, confirm this. Alright, so our next episode might just be outlaying the two new mechs. I'm thinking... Um... It's a hard choice of what I want to get rid of. It's probably going to be the 265 tonners. Although this thing's got a chameleon system in it. And this is our missile mech. The weight, of, like, the advantage of the of the uh, Mjolnir is it does the PPCs do 80 damage each. Black Knight's got a heavy energy loadout. King Crab can go heavy AC loadout. And the Zeus is just, once again, it's, it's a variety of stuff. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But that we'll decide that next episode. 1.5 million is not that bad. We may keep all of them. I mean, because the exterminator is great because it can stay hidden for so long and then strike with the uh, ATMs, which do a lot of damage, especially with the HE. And if it's coupled with the King Crab, that's stealthy too. If we give this guy some half decent movement and put a mask in him or something, or a supercharger even, put some Ultra 20s on him, a pair of Ultra 20s, this so guy could strike from the shadows. That's a possibility too. But you know what? That's going to be for next time. Anyway, I got to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the co comment section down below. How do you feel about the stealthy kind of exterminator king crab? kind of lancy build 
Um, we, we stick with the maybe the catapult in the meal near as a distance uh, platform so the PPCs and LRMs fire from a distance uh, while the crab and the um, the king crab and the uh, exterminator move in, move in to uh, closer range to uh, inflict some heavy damage. That's a possibility. Um, Black Knight, we could change that to long range loadout, long range energy loadout um, and go with the Black Knight and Mjolnir. Ah, lots of options. We'll have to see. All right, so we're going to leave the episode there. Um, until next time, we'll see you all later.